The brain is one of our most important organs and uh, we want to have a healthy life, we want to have a, a long lifespan. With neurodegenerative disorders, the pathology can develop uh, for many years before there are symptoms. The disease could be in progress for maybe up to two decades before symptoms become evident. By the time the symptoms are noticed, then a lot of the damage has already taken place and it becomes very difficult, if not impossible, to reverse that damage. Well, if we can catch the symptoms sooner, then therapies and treatments can be developed which can intervene in the earlier stages of the disease and have a much better chance of stopping or delaying the onset of symptoms before damage is irreversibly done. ViewMind has developed a precision diagnostic solution for measuring brain health. To measure brain health, we need to measure two things. Firstly, cognition. Cognition is how we process information, how we remember things, the speed of how, we, how quickly we process information. We also need to measure the physical health of the brain. It's been known for a long time that eye movements change as a result of changes in cognition. And much has been written about this in medical journals, but nobody's been able to build a robust diagnostic solution to tap into that signal from the brain. And that's what ViewMind has been able to do. The eye is, is the window, is a reflection of, of your brain, not only anatomically, but also functionally. The way it moves, the way that actually you can pay attention to somebody uh, or not, the way that actually the eye moves during different normal and abnormal you know, brain uh, states really helps you to determine and diagnose specific diseases that are difficult to diagnose uh, otherwise. Since the last 18 years, we are relating different eye movements with specific cognitive functions and related areas of the brain. Currently, the analysis of eye movements allows you mind to identify how different diseases affect person's health. Chemical biomarkers are, are measuring the, the body chemistry, identifying, for example, if a protein is in spinal fluid. Digital biomarkers, on the other hand, are capturing information which is purely digital, and then the data can be analyzed and patterns can be extracted, which could provide an indication as to uh, whether somebody has a particular uh, issue or not. So a digital biomarker in the case of ViewMind is that we are capturing eye movement data. ViewMind is a medical device and it also includes digital health software. We don't make the hardware. Uh, the hardware is provided through a partnership with Hewlett Packard and we use a combination of their virtual reality headsets and the HP uh, virtual reality computers. We provide extended reality technologies as fundamental technologies, and then our partner ViewMind develops specific solutions on top of those fundamental technologies uh, to improve the well being of their customers. So, for a VR setup, our solutions right now focus on PC attached VR. We have a, a VR headset called the HP Reverb G2. These VR headsets attach to a laptop or a desktop computer with powerful enough uh, graphics that it can support virtual reality headsets. Assessing a person is a very simple process. Our product is comprised of a VR headset with eye tracking, a laptop and ViewMind's software. A patient undergoes a 15 minute test, data is uploaded into our servers, and an actionable report is sent to the physician to access, which contains data that they can use to make a proper diagnosis. I believe that ViewMind can become the gold standard in neurological healthcare diagnosis. But I also believe in the future possibilities of ViewMind in making a significant contribution to the situational readiness of our nations, of our companies, and of our societies. I think the future medicine is prevention. We are developing therapeutic options for people that present specifically actually brain diseases by being able to screen millions of patients and diagnose the ones at risk can be very, very impactful for, for society. Tools that are fast, quick to implement, and actually provide easy access to patients 
you know, can really disrupt the way that we uh, diagnose and manage neurological disorders. We're very excited about the potential impact that the technology could have on millions of people's lives.